Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome to a new episode of Tina Tries It. Today I'll be testing out a really interesting product. This is a collagen lifting kit from a brand called Ohio Who. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. So I actually saw a video on Instagram of this product from an account called ksisters.sg. They sell different types of KBU products. And so I thought this one would look really interesting. In the video, you can see that once the mask is applied, the skin and the face almost kind of like contracts and lifts up. And then once you wash it off, it's supposed to still give you that lifting result. So I thought that was pretty cool. I really want to try it out. So I bought it for $135. So let me show you what you get inside. So inside the kit, you get the Pro Real Collagen, which is the freeze dried collagen fibers. Step number two is the Pro Collagen Lift Pack, which is the liquid that you're gonna mix with the collagen fibers. And in the kit, there's actually 12 of these. So you can use it 12 times. Then there's the Pro Collagen Lift Serum that you apply on the skin after the mask is removed and a little mixing container. So on the website, it says that this product is good for all skin types, but it targets signs of aging, like fine lines and wrinkles, pro's feet, smile lines, dry skin, and sagging. What's interesting about this product is that it contains 98% hydrolyzed collagen, which is freeze dried, and molecule size to this collagen fibers are really small. They're micromolecules, and I believe it's like 500 Dalton, so it can actually penetrate in the skin and somewhat be absorbed. With the lifting pack, it contains eight layers of peptides and seven layers of collagen which is going to give you that lift and boost of hydration in the skin so basically what I need to do now is just open this up put it in my mixing container and then mix it up and once that is all melted into I guess the mixture or the solution I'm going to apply it on my skin immediately you need to like use it quick so let's open this baby up are you ready it's like a hairball. It looks like fibers from my sweater. Actually, it looks like a little squished cotton ball. It's very thin, very flat. Now I saw, oh my God, it's stuck to my hand. Oh no. Oh my God, this is so delicate. It's just like getting passed around. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of tear it apart and loosen the fibers up and then put it Put it in. I oh, know I dropped in the mixing. Oh my god. Hold on, guys. Maybe because I had a little bit of like moisture on my hand or something. <laughs> Honestly, please make sure your hands are not like don't have any moisture, sweat. I, I mean, I think it's just wet on my hands. The fluff is in there. Some of it remained on my fingers, but hey, that's okay. Then I'm going to tear this and then just pour the contents. Like I'm trying to show you guys, but also see what's happening if it's melting yet. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now we mix. I mean, it melts pretty quickly, but hey, there is not much of this. I don't know if you can tell, but it doesn't look like much because there isn't much. So what I'm gonna do is apply it on half my face, like the video that I saw. And I saw that you should apply it upwards. It's like I'm applying honey on my face. If you want the jawline to lift, apparently you gotta like go under and then apply it upwards. And you can also do like, around the outer corner of your eye. I don't know if I applied a very thick layer or something because I'm already out and this is half my face. I probably could have gone a little bit thinner. I guess if I'm doing my whole face, I would just do a very thin layer. So then I would make use of the entire thing because you can see it's already empty. So I'm gonna leave this on for 20, 30 minutes for it to dry and hopefully lift up my skin. We'll see if it actually does anything. I wanna also try this product on Alfred and my mum to see how it works on different skin types. So it's been five minutes and I can already feel it like tightening and restricting my mouth. And I don't know if you can see, can you see? It's kinda 
lifting a little bit. It definitely feels very stiff. Anyways, let me try it on my mum first. I really want to see how this works on her skin. Look at my face, guys. Oh my god. So I just finished applying mum's face. I had enough to even apply on her neck as well. So I made sure to apply a thinner layer. And guys, can you just see my face? I look so scary. I look like I've got some sort of like glue on my face or something. You know what I mean? Oh my god, guys. It's only been like 15 minutes and I'm already so wrinkly. <laughs> this is crazy. Like my eyebrow. This one looks higher than that one. And you can also tell because like look at where my lip is. Like the point is here and this side it's like down here. It's completely dry now. It feels like one of those peel off masks or it feels like I have plastic on my skin. Look at it. This feels so weird. Oh my gosh. You can see it kind of lifted off and kind of peeled off a little bit because I was trying to talk and trying not to laugh at myself. So I guess when you're doing this on yourself, you just try to keep a straight face, otherwise it kind of lifts off the skin. But this is about almost 20 minutes now, and you can see it keeps going tighter and tighter. If you have sensitive skin, it's best to apply it for a shorter amount of time until your skin gets used to it. Um, my skin's not very sensitive, so I'm gonna push it. I really wanna see the full results, and to see that, I feel like maybe 30 minutes would be a good amount of time. It's, it's even affecting my speech. Okay, my skin is just very tight. Now guys, it's been half an hour. I'm gonna wash this off with warm water and then I'll come back. So I washed off the mask and it was actually really easy to wash off. It wasn't sticky anymore, so it just pretty much washed off. My skin actually feels a lot smoother. Do I look more lifted? I feel like a little bit. I feel like maybe my jaw here, like around here. I guess like it's not like this side. Mm. My skin definitely feels a lot more firmer. It just feels really nice and weird because I felt like when I had that mask on, it was very tight and almost taut, like that drying feeling. But when I washed it off, it actually doesn't feel super dry or anything. Now I'm meant to apply the Pro Collagen Lift Serum after. So I'm just going to do that. The serum itself feels quite nice. There is like a scent, but I don't know what it is. This is a very subtle scent. It kind of smells like cherries or something. Not very strong though, it's like, it's gone now. My mum said her face felt very tight as the mask was drying. And you can see here, half her face looks more lifted. Now after washing off the mask, her skin was pretty flush, so you can see a little bit of redness, especially when she's applying the serum. Oh my god, I'm getting so good at this. I still have some left. I've been applying a thin layer, so. It actually dries pretty quickly. Yeah, it feels super tight. Yeah, once it's on, it gets drying, so you don't have to wait that long. Oops, I may have um, done something with this. I was supposed to be washing it off, but it was so satisfying. Look at it, it's like a... Oh, why have you been peeling it <laughs> out? I was like, Alf, stop peeling your neck. It's just so satisfying though, I couldn't help it. It's totally peelable. I know it's peelable, you just have to wash it off though. What if I peel it? Fine, you can just peel the neck part, don't peel the face. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks like rice paper. Ew! Pure collagen rice paper. It does feel a lot more like uh, compressed into a little space. I have washed my face. How does it feel? Still feels a little bit like taut on this side. 
It just got absorbed. That was one drop. As soon as that I, was the, the, only applied half your face. As soon as it touched my face, it just got absorbed. <laughs> this is why I run out of product real quick. Alfred uses like double the amount of all our skincare. <laughs> Probably triple. Triple C. <laughs> <laughs> It feels a little bit soft. It feels softer, even like before you apply the serum, it feels softer, right? Yeah. yeah, it does. We end up trying the face masks again at home on our whole face. You can check out our beautiful glass skin here. Look how glowy we are. We actually look even scarier. Now this time we left it on for about 15 to 20 minutes which was enough for it to dry. I thought that this would help reduce the redness, but after washing the mask off and applying the serum, our skin was pretty flushed, but it did go away after about half an hour or so. So after testing the collagen lift kit again, here's my final verdict. For my skin, I didn't really see drastic, like super visible results. However, in terms of how my skin felt, it did feel like it was more lifted and my skin felt softer and smoother. Same for Alfred's skin, not super noticeable results, but we can definitely feel a difference on our skin. For my mum's skin, I felt like the collagen lift kit worked the best. On her skin, I was able to see immediate results. You can see her skin is more lifted. Also around her eyes, the lines and wrinkles were a lot softer and smoother around that area. So I would definitely recommend this kit for more mature skin types. So if you have concerns like wrinkles, if like your skin feels a bit more saggy or it's dropping, if you have fine lines you want to address, smile lines, I think this product would work best for you. Also for the price, because you get 12 uses in the kit, it works out to be about $11 per use, which I feel is pretty affordable. So if you want to do like an at-home pampering facial session, I think this product is going to be good for you if you have mature skin. Also, you get the serum that you can continue using. It's going to definitely last you more than 12 uses. So that's another add-on and it's quite affordable and it makes a good kit. And that is it to this episode of Tina Tries. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you guys are new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos I post. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye!